This tutorial is literally fire. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I paint fire. It's pretty fun because fire is not really a fixed thing, so you can have a bit of fun with it and be a bit artistic. And it's really good practice for glazing as well. So let's get into it. Here's a list of all the paints you're going to need. I also use Rosemary & Co brushes, the Series 33, uh, mainly size 1 and size 00 or 2 slash 0. We're going to piece from the immolator. It's one of the um, like exhausts, I suppose, with a flame on top. Pretty cool looking piece. Um, we're going to prime that up in black. Uh, any black will do. You can use any color really when you're painting flames. It's just that I like to paint from black. And then we're going to move over to a wet palette. As I said, I use the Red Grass Painters wet palette. I'm going to start with Evil Sun Scarlet. We need about two parts of this. And then we're going to use one part of Troll Slayer Orange. Gonna add a little bit of water in there. Mix it up and we get this nice orangey red. Now we're going to give our flames a good base coat in this mix. It might take a couple of coats. Don't worry about getting it completely solid uh, some little bits of black might show through or your base coat but that's okay now we're going to add some more troll slayer orange to our base coat mix i'm going to add some water in there as well so this is going to come down to like a glaze consistency so when you're glazing you want it to be really really watery and then what you do is you load up your brush, wipe most of it off on a paper towel, and then paint onto the model. Where the brush ends before you take it off of the model, that's gonna be the place where the most paint ends up. So you start at the, the darkest area when you're with your brush stroke, and then you end at the lightest area. So for example, with a flame, we want the brightest part to be closest to the source, so the bottom of the flame. So you can see here, I'm starting higher up and moving the brush down lower into like the source of the flame or where the fuel would be. Which I'm not doing there. But this bit, whole bit's going to be orange anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to keep building up because with glazing, it takes a lot of layers, lots and lots of thin layers to build up our colors, which is really great for if you want transitions because we're slowly building from one color to another. So we're going to keep building it up until we get a nice orange on those bottom part of the flames. I think you can see that. And I'm going to add some aerial yellow into our mix. Again, add a little bit more water so that it becomes a glaze consistency. You can see it's like a nice yellowy orange now. And then we're going to glaze again just over those bottom pieces where the, the source would be. Um, not going as far up the flames this time. Making sure to get inside those little crevices in the uh, brazier. I think that's what the word for it would be. I'm going to pick out, we're trying to pick out the highest edges of the flame. So not like the deep, deepest part of the flame, but like the, the raised edges, I suppose. Almost like you're highlighting really. Then we're going to add another part of aerial yellow and again a little bit more water. So now it's pretty much just straight aerial yellow but with like a tiny bit of our previous orange mixed in. And this time we're going to glaze a little bit closer down to the, the source of the flame, not going up as high up the flames. Again just going over the areas that have already been and, and blending from that red to the orange to the yellow. So it's get, it almost like it looks like it's getting hotter as it gets closer to the source. Now 
Next up, we're going to add in some of our ice yellow from Vallejo, or you can use Dawn yellow if you want to stick with Citadel. And again, add some water and mix in a little bit with our previous color so that it's uh, going to end up with a nice transition. And now we're just going to go over just the very middle of the uh, of the flames where we've highlighted before. So this is going to be like the hottest part of the flame, so the brightest part. I'm going to pick out those central bits of the highlight. So that's it for the highlights. Now we're going to add in some depth into the flames. So we're going to mix up our base coat again. So two parts Evil Sun Scarlet to one part Troll Slayer Orange and then add in some black. And we're also going to just put a little bit of black at the side and we're going to make the, both of those into glazes. Now I realized I didn't add enough black into the base coat here. So I'm going to add a little bit more black in there, as you can see in the background a little bit. And then we're just going to go into the, the depths of the, the flames. So in between the brightest parts, picking out those dark recesses. So if you imagine, if you're familiar with painting Space Marines, for example, where you would recess shade the armor, here you're recess shading the flames. I'm going to add a little bit more black into there so that it's a darker red. And just go back in there into those recesses and really pick out the darkest areas. Create some nice depth into the flames. Now we're going to move on to our soot effect on the tips of the flames. So we're just going to use the black and we're just going to glaze those very tips. It might take a few, few coats to go over there and get the the blackness in there. This is going to create a really nice soot effect, like a smoky effect, like not a clean fire. Now, just last step, we're going to highlight the, the smoke. So we start with some Dawnstone, add a little bit of water in there. And we're just going to put some small little dots onto the very tips of those sooty parts or smoky parts. So just a couple of dots. Do that on each of those soot parts. And then we're going to get some Orthoon Grey. Again, a little bit on the palette, water it down a little bit. And then we're just going to put some tiny dots in, in where we've just done those Dawnstone dots. So if you can, get them on top, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off to the side. And that's just going to be our highlights. I'm just going to tidy up the uh, the brazier, and there we go. This is our flame. It's quite a nice effect, and it's really, as I said, it's really fun to paint because it's it's pretty low stress. You don't have to be too tidy with it, and you have a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video, and it was helpful, and you maybe picked up a few tips here and there. If you did, I'd love it if you could leave a comment below on, and like the video and subscribe to the channel and maybe even share it. That would be really, really helpful. And as I said before, there's a lot of affiliate links in the description below. So if you do buy something from there, that'd be great. It gives a little kickback to me, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. And uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks.